Um, so, who remembers uh, from last session? I, I was there, so can someone quickly explain? I'm really pissed off, Dan, because I shot up the dashboard of a fucking dark. <laughs> yeah. Of a what? Uh, there was a giant. You can you see the picture we're looking at. You see at the very very top there's a little ball. There was a hair pad at the top of that, and I was up there, and there was a fucking gyrocopter. I think uh, Trip can fly. Like has uh, like a point in flying them or something. He's got two. He has two points in flying them, and but Doc Grubbs was like, "Ain't nobody escaping this shit. We're sinking this boat." So he fucking put his power fist through the dashboard, and despite the fact that he didn't tell anyone, nobody actually knew. Dan, as a player, was really frustrated because he wanted Trip to fly it. <laughs> so, um, um, don't, don't, my, my, honestly, my reasoning was that if that if he fucks up a roll on that, we all crash and die into the sea. If you fuck up a roll on the boat, you just float in the wrong direction. It, for for pure transparency, I probably wouldn't do that because that's a bit harsh. For pure if transparency. I would want you to do that. I'm, say, I'm, not sure sure I'm not sure that's your decision, mate. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't want to fucking tra- tele- teleport everyone into an airless fucking wasteland, but that happened. Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. we volunteered to die. I have no die. problem with the decision. I just... Full transparency. Because it's like riding... It's like ri- driving anything. So if you have points in it, you have a basic competence with it. I was saying, if there was... He's still going to fumble that and a crash into the sea. Oh, yeah, but a fumble, I, yeah, I don't uh, know if I would make you. Don't grab the takeoff. I would say, like, oh, you, ooh, you biffed it and you dinged it or something like that. But Dom Grubbs is not a very floatable person. I don't, I don't want you guys being terrified of taking to the skies, no matter how deadly it may or may not be. Just setting us up to, like, we fucking die in a fight in a plane crash. I mean, however you die is all good to me. No, guys, guys, let's be real. Domestic terrorists, he's telling us not to be afraid of the skies. Ed, if you're trying to push us towards a 9-11 scenario, I'm going to have to stop you. Right. Was that going to happen? 9-11. I'm just going to read... You've already done a mini 9-11. I know, but it's, yeah. Oh, I'm um, sorry, Andy, you asked what actually happened to you. Um, we infiltrated, uh, you and I blew... Oh, shit, yeah, because Andy was there. You and I went through various labs in the lower reaches of this place and it was all kinds of screwed up like DNA splicing and stuff um, and we burned and we burned a lot like everything we saw uh, everyone start, we started an evacuation because we kept setting everything on fire um, the other guy I think I think Shade got lots of money stuff or something Shade had a great success hacking to get something significant I can't exactly remember what um, mm. and that, I think Trip and Mr. Smith just sort of had shenanigans that's, right. a base, that's a basic and then basically there was an evacuation in progress Mr. Smith very poorly tried to stop everyone, stop some people getting on our ship I think a handful got on and then we finally left there was some shooting involved Doc Grubbs threw a grenade into a crowd of shit um, uh, Shade and Trip are still on a lifeboat oh Shade and Trip are on a lifeboat because they were on the wrong side of the island when we left um, so please, we were heading to... please don't forget us <laughs> we, we suggested to go pick them up and then the session ended yep so there's yeah. a we're, on, we're back on the boat we arrived on a, what like a, starting to leave, um, and there's a few degenerates who escaped onto our boat somewhere on the boat. There's two of them, isn't there? No, there's loads who managed oh, to like. Sorry, the, yeah, but there were two. Oh, of them. I don't remember it was loads. I remember there were being two fast. engineers who got on. There was the two engineers who got on initially. Are they um, alive or dead or grubsy? What did you do? Uh, you hadn't. They, they, you pointed them down into like the engine bay, like pretending that it was broken, and that's why you couldn't, um, like leave yet. And so they were like, "Oh no, I can fix it." And then they went over to, off to try and find the problem and fix it. Don't um, grumble. You had an opportunity to hunt them down like dogs, so we'll get into that. Yeah, well, and, uh, <laughs> okay. At, um, just before, um, like once, like the pressure of loads of people finally came. And then, like, yes, uh, I remember. it was all getting very frantic with more explosions. Mm. Uh, roughly twenty or so people sort of rushed past you before, um, yeah. Doc Grubbs pulled pulled his piece and started blasting people. Grubbs in the situation. So uh, stun grenades into a crowd of innocent people. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, and Mr. Smith fucked up trying to slice oh a rope like with four the cyber times sword, in I got like a four. Row. That one. <laughs> 
Yeah. Didn't someone shoot it from the other side of the boat? No, the last Larry, Larry yeah, ran to the a... opposite one and just yeah. like pulled up like 20 feet away, fucking immediately dealt just fucking with dead eye, just shot the fucking rope in one, one go. And I'm just there apparently cutting my own dick off or something. We checked but... to make sure it wasn't broken. It wasn't. You just fumbled like four times. In the a thing row. is, it wasn't it like I spammed a whole bunch, and of the whole bunch, like one of them wasn't a fumble, but like two more of them were. Yeah, yeah. it was <laughs> very but, weird. As it turns you out, three ones in a row, and then you rolled four more dice in the quick succession and got two more ones. Yeah, <laughs> we'll, we'll keep take an eye on the that. Sword away from Smith. I'm just <laughs> saying. Um. So yeah, that's where you guys were, and yeah, so uh, yeah, so you stole through. I think Doc Grubbs managed to gr um, quickly stuff some uh, hard drives from some of the labs into his um, duffel bag as yes, um, as he was getting out, um, and you released all of the genetic sort of abominations before blowing up the lab. Um, and then, yeah, so you were escaping on the boat, and Trip and Shade uh, were escaping on one of the... Hang on, hang on, I need a question. Oh, sorry. Genetic abominations? Uh, yeah, so there was, uh, when you got into the submarine sort of port at the very bottom of the uh, sea base, uh, you, you found there was also holding pens for some, what looked like augmented, uh, very sort of irritable sharks. Uh, which uh, Doc Grubbs dissected one of them, and they, had uh, lasers attached to their they did not. <laughs> as much as everyone wanted them to have <laughs> laser beams attached to their heads, yeah. they did not. Unfortunately, <laughs> no. They had, they were genetically mutated to be bigger, stronger, and it appears more aggressive. Um, and they also had a small dose of cybernetics. Partly, mainly, just seems to be up to observe and uh, monitor the animals and um, as you and Grubbs were m working your way through the lab you um, up through the base you came across one of the other labs which had a lot more land based animals so there was like bears, wolves lots oh. of rats that sort of stuff okay. um, and yeah that's so this is where you were um, so yeah you had like a, a nice old shootout on the dock as you were making your way out um, uh, so Trip and Shade are all blended in with the rest of the um, Project Lazarus um, staff on some of the lifeboats uh, and the rest of you guys are, have had a spectacular uh, gu uh, gunfight and are slowly pulling away the, the, this whole thing is actually sinking in that we set off for five kilos of C4 at the bottom of it. And it ends yeah, up. you don't know how long it'll take, but you did start to notice it definitely start listing off to the side. So it may very well, it may just sort of tip on its side and stay floating, but it's not stable. It, it's fucked. Yeah, it's fucked, more or less. Um, yeah, you put, a, you put a big old dent in it. Uh, I mean, five kilos of C four. We'll do that. Yeah. So, um, along with a hearty fire. Lovely. So, yeah. Uh, as your so you guys are so trip. Oh no, not trip. Um, uh, so Mr. Smith, uh, Doctor Grubbs, and Larry, you're on the boat. Um, uh, so you're. Who was it who ran in and started driving? Was it um, Doc Grubbs? Yeah, Doc Grubbs powered up the boat. Okay, um, and you start pulling away. Um, did you roll, um, like, operate heavy machinery towards the end of the last session? Uh, let I me mean, scroll up. I can't remember if you did. I don't think I did. did. Okay, can you roll that for me just to see, with a um, plus two, because you observed um, the pilot on the way in. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So you um, you remember the sequence of buttons and dials um, that he hit, and in the rough order that he did it. So you hear a pleasant like switching on of engines, and yeah, you start making you start pulling away slowly from the um, from the harbor. Uh, um, that's all good. Where? Which direction are you heading? Um, firstly, you probably ought to go. 
pick up our fucking idiot cohorts. Mm -hmm. I think idiots is a bit rude. <laughs> Just on the wrong boat. Fucking bus wankers. Okay. Um, lovely. So you're pulling around. It's it's a fairly big ship, so it's going to take you a little bit, a uh, couple minutes to get around. We're keeping our distance from the island, and if anyone approaches in the lifeboat, I'm going to ask Larry, Larry kindly to shoot them. Or shoot at them, at least, they're not coming. List to port. Mm -hmm. With our sails and rags and scuppers and jags. <laughs> um, lovely. Uh, Shade, can you... Uh, roll me some awareness. I'll roll it for trip as well. <clears throat> this way, notice there's someone else in the boat with them. <laughs> no, so remember these are like um, really long ones, like you know we were just talking about, like off of like planes. Those really long, sort of like uh, rectangular ones, oh, uh, yeah, which can yeah. fit like twenty some odd people. So yours is rammed with people. Um. Okay. Yeah. Shade. You start, you're keeping uh, your head on a swivel in this situation. There's a lot of stuff happening. As, um, you, um, uh, you can see as the base is slowly being uh, uh, listing more and more off to the side, people are getting more and more desperate. And as some people are not finding a lifeboat um, uh, to take them, they're just jumping in the sea and taking their luck, trying to get as far away from the possibly sinking base as possible. Um, you notice one person uh, who appears to be, who appeared not to be able to swim very well. Um, they, are certain, they are thrashing around, uh, going under and coming back up, spluttering, and then they go under and they're not seen again. Mm. That's I reckon sad. we should take. I reckon we should like take a couple of people and interrogate them as opposed to shoot them. I mean, we've oh, got man. like twenty odd people on the boat who can't go anywhere. That's fine. We got that. We got that covered. Should uh, um, point out we do also have a dead body on the boat. I mean, is that really like the people who are on the boat are probably already aware of the fact we're not the, we're not local. That is true. Never like, mind. We did just spend quite a while throwing stun grenades at their cover. <laughs> shooting their guards. Is there only one dead body? <laughs> only on one on the boat. Yeah. yeah, and in fact, the only dead body is the one that Mrs. Smith killed. I thought you just tied him up, and you left the other dead body on the on the boat. Uh, on yeah, the okay, yeah, there's a dead body on there, there's a tied up dude in the boat, yeah. Alright, there's a dead body in the dock. Yeah. yeah, that's fine, who cares about that, yeah. Because um, the pilot tried to make do a runner, and uh, I think you... Did you grab him and kill the... Dock worker, or or the other way around? I can't yeah, remember. Yeah, yeah. Wait, no, no. It's the dock worker who's tied up. It's the it's the driver who's dead. Oh yeah, yep. yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds like the wrong way around. Cool. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> I made some interesting business choices. Cool. Um. Uh, okay, so you guys are uh, still around. Uh, it's going to take you a little bit more. Are you guys like communicating, like to try and like coordinate where you guys are and like guide them over towards you? Uh, yeah. 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 Well, I think if we get close to them and assess the fact that they're in a boat full of fucking people, it might come to us rather than. Oh, it's to... fine. I'm pretty sure we can just. I'll just. I've got knives. I'll just stab the shit out of this lifeboat. <laughs> uh, <laughs> As okay. I get off. <laughs> so, um. Who's so Doc Grubbs? You're like in the little uh, control room piloting, I assume. So uh, Whilst I'm, my, my only request to Larry is that he stops any other fucking hangers on getting on my boat other than tripping. Okay, so Larry. Okay, so Larry's out on the on like the the deck, like keeping an eye out in the water. Is there any shotguns aboard? Um, roll. I, I have a shotgun. You can borrow. Yes, I'd like uh, a shotgun to be on anti. Oh, any pirate yeah. I'm gonna lend. I'm gonna lend Andy my full Terry Crews Aranska rapid assault rifle. Oh, okay. Assault. <laughs> okay. So I need to add that, or you can just roll the attack to me if I use it. Mm. What's your skill in rifle? I don't know. Uh, mine is. 
Where's rifle? Uh, right in the bottom of stealth. Oh, lovely. I got indeed. I got damn good pizza hut. What's your <laughs> what's your skill in rifle? Zero. All right, minus two. So I'll just roll with minus two for you. Yep. Are both of your reflex skills the same? Mm, no. Um, what have you got? Nine. Nine. Yeah, reflex. Nice. Eight. Okay, so you do it at a minus three. All right. For Larry. Cool. Um, lovely. Um, Shade, Trip, and Larry, roll awareness for me once more. Did, did we get, like, uh, any pluses for last session? Um, no, not yet. Uh, I think I'll, 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 like, tally things up once you've, like... At the end of this session, probably once you've found somewhere to rest. I I think I know I I, I think I know what you're wearing awareness for, but I'm not gonna say anything because it's Doc Grubbs is not yeah. there. So. Well, Larry. Um with your sort of like um sort of overview of the water, um you yeah, you do see a lot of people in the lifeboat sort of drifting around um they don't have any way to net, like to steer, so a lot of some uh, of them have started like trying to coordinate people paddling to varying degrees of success. Most of them are trying to make their way over towards you, and there are quite and the water is just littered with um, dozens of people just trying to uh, desperately swim towards you. Um, I'm assuming, yeah, you've just been taking pot shots at um, people and generally trying to discourage people getting on, uh, which I won't make you roll for, but I'm, I'm saying that you. It's like shooting fish in a barrel for you. It's not very challenging. Um, what you do notice um, uh, with your elevated position is um, you do start to see some blooms of red in the water. Um, initially, what you thought was just um, just screaming from the, the peril of the, the situation, you're able to sort of distinguish a couple voices which are a fair bit more manic than the rest are are definitely in pain and uh, you do assume being attacked by something because in those blooms of red you do see a lot of thrashing around and you do make out one or two big grey fins Ooh. so uh, I'll say as uh, ooh so I'm going to say there's about there's six uh, lifeboats um, on making their way towards the the boat. Uh, Shade, you are in boat number one. Well, actually, you can pick one, like one to six. Which one would you like? Did you say one. <laughs> You'll have one. Okay, roll me two d six. That's a solid <laughs> three. Okay. That doesn't sound good. Okay. As you're making your way to um to the boat, um, you're probably about twenty feet, uh, sort of like uh, ten meters away. Sorry. Um, as you're pulling close, one of the lifeboats closest to you uh, starts deflating um, from the back end. And you look, you glance over, and you see um, a lot of thrashing towards the back end, and you start hearing some more manic, um, some frenzied screaming from the back end of there. People trying to desperately get a, as far away from the sinking portion of the light boat as possible. Um, <laughs> where you are, uh, lent against uh, the side of your light boat, uh, can you roll me? Uh, some dodge. Oh shit! Or or any or oh wait, yeah, dodge. Yeah, dodge is fine. Reflex. Oh, you I got have some, I have oh, some skill in dodge. Oh. Okay. Um, <laughs> let me. I think I did make a. Yes, I did. Um. Whoop. Uh, 
<laughs> okay. Um, as uh, you're looking over there, from the same direction, um, a large grey fin uh, starts uh, slicing its way towards you, and just as a humongous, monstrous shark face emerges from the water, you manage to roll out of the, uh, the way of it, and it punctures uh, all of the lifeboat in a sort of little uh, semicircle where you were sitting, and you managed to avoid it briefly. Um, Can I stab it? Roll to attack. Oh, this is a, this is a bad idea. Uh, stab. Who's at the bottom of our garden? Yeah, I'll, yeah. No, you hit him. Um, so as he's got his um. As he's got his teeth sunk into the lifeboat, he's um, struggling to rip himself free. Uh, yeah, you managed to just drive it into his head and take a good couple stabs there. Um, stab, 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 stab. Um, he def um, it doesn't seem to have any effect at first, um, but there is a lot of blood coming out, and he does eventually disengage and um, swim away. You're not sure if he's going to try and take another pass, though. Uh, you're getting closer. Uh, you're getting about. You're probably about like five meters away now. Did he leave any teeth behind? Um. <laughs> yes. No. He did have a couple sort of scattered left in the rubber. Can I try and get some of them out? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Everybody yeah. needs souvenirs. Uh, roll. Roll the d6. You could stab a dude with these. Oh. <laughs> Make them into like a shark tooth blade. A shark tooth dagger, yeah. Well, Doc Grubbs has got a shitload of them as well. A <laughs> bag of shark teeth. Yeah. Um, Jay, you guys have got a lot of shark teeth. You can open one of those, like, like little Cut shops. Beach shops. Yeah, sell some puka shell necklaces and stuff. <laughs> um, okay, yep. Yeah, so as you're. You do that. Um, as you're lifeboat makes contact uh, with the edge of the boat. Um, uh, you see it coming around for another pass. Um, what are you doing? Are you making... There's two main options. is Try and jump and get up onto the boat or try and face the shark. Oh. Or dodge, I suppose. Uh, I'm going to try and get on the boat... <laughs> Okay. Can we decide uh, what Trip does by Kinetti? Yeah. He is going to fight the shark. <laughs> Bare knuckled, of course. He's going to try to just headlock the shark. He just dives into the sea with a knife in his mouth. <laughs> he he re-emerges at the end of the session. <laughs> yeah, so uh, what? Uh, what's the consensus? What's Trip doing here whilst Shade is... I think he probably... I, I genuinely, I think Dan would probably shoot the shark. I think he would. <gasps> With a He'd missile. Really like if 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 Trip's going for the sorry, if Shay's going for the jump onto the boat, I think he'd probably he'd probably shoot the shark. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. Do you think he'd okay. shoot it with a missile launcher though? Oh yes. Ah, <laughs> <Yes. laughs> oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> uh, cool. So he is gonna pull. Hello to my little friend. He's going to pull his uh, mini. He is Uzi. And he's going to attack. Can he auto fire? Is that a thing? Uh, yeah, he's just going to uh, he's just going to unload him. Fucking big target. Um, he, okay, yeah, no, he does good. He um, he picks his moment. He waits for it to start uh, end up on like a, an attack line uh, uh, with the boat. And he lines up really good and just unloads into the thing. Uh, manages to rake a good like uh, line of uh, bullets down its side and it seems to deter it for now. Uh, it, it swims away and you don't know if it is done, how much damage it has done, but it definitely swam away quick. I'm going to suggest at that stage he would then try and get in the boat pretty quick. And then he would try and get in the boat. So, Shade, uh, mm -hmm. firstly, can you roll? Um, let's just roll. 
Also, is Larry having to shoot anyone else trying to do the same thing? Yeah. Is oh, it's Larry. Is it, is it a given that he's shooting people off the railing as they're trying to climb? Yeah, it? no, I sort of took it because it was it's it's not much of a skill challenge for Larry. <laughs> they appear over the railing, he shoots them. It's like whack a mole. Yeah, he's... <laughs> it's like Helm's Deep. <laughs> Can I, um, can I also specify that I have a cigar lit while I'm doing this? Absolutely. I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> uh, do you smoke cigars through your gills or through your mouth? <laughs> a cigar out of each gill. All right, the, shade. Gills, you think? Shade, roll me some athletics. Ha! Like that's going to work. Pop okay. of reflexes. Just under archery. Okay. Um... So I'm imagining um, sort of like that netting um, that you have on like the side uh, side of a lot of boats, um, or like just like general detritus sort of like hanging over the side. It's not a he terribly high uh, sided boat, um, so uh, Trip uh, manages to get a hand uh, just on the lip of it and is hanging on. Uh, Larry, where are you in all of this? Are you just ranging up and down the rail, like taking out people so you're not like helping them? I'm on the deck, and I'm like, yeah. Okay, um, okay. So Trip is holding on by his fingertips. Do you Shade. think? A genuine question. Do you think if there's a lifeboat full of like I don't know thirty people, do you think after like the first half a dozen got shot off the boat, they might stop trying to climb in? No, because yeah, they're sharks. So, I mean, uh, that yeah, that's what I'm kind of shot. imagining. This is why I'm thinking it's is, is it after a Larry have to continually shoot them, or they just stop and he can help? I'm imagining, yeah, for the at first there was loads, and Larry was shooting them left, right, and center, and they seem to have noticed what is happening, and <laughs> they're getting shot. <laughs> the uh, the attempts are getting fewer and. I'm just you gonna are. like put one leg but, up on the, on the railing and just shout down to them. Uh, but with the mutant shark attacks in the water, people have started getting a little bit more desperate. Um, so whilst he's doing that, yeah. So Trips got his fingers just sort of on the side. Uh, Shade, unfortunately, you die for it, um, scrabble and don't manage it. Um, but that's whilst uh, Trip was uh, fending off the shark. Roll again, so you can try again. Yeah. Uh, this will be at the same time as uh, Trip does it. And you make it. Yeah. Um, so you've got your, you've got it there as well. Um, Larry, you notice them as they're doing that. Um, people start clinging on to Trip and Shade as they're. As they've gotten like a, a handhold on, people are desperately trying to like piggyback with them and get on as well. Uh, I'm going to lean over and like get get right up in their face with the shotgun and take their heads off. Okay. Um, so yeah, you manage that, and uh, yeah, you you deter you take a couple shots into the lifeboat, and people stop trying eventually they're they're desperate they're shouting they're pleading but it falls on deaf ears and uh you managed to haul in uh trip and shade in short order and continue making your way off um i'll skip ahead a little bit just because i think you sort of just punch it and try and just get as much distance between you and the sea base as possible is that fair to say yeah okay cool um where are you heading so you're sort of like it. You you, you hit full uh, full steam ahead. You're you're making you're making good speed now. Um, to France, to people are receding in the back in the in the rear view. What's the latest thing occurring elsewhere in the country that we know about? Sorry, sorry. Hang on, I I got a fun. So this is what I imagine. This is my image in my head of Larry right now when he's shooting with the shooting with people. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Larry's been pretty chewed up recently, so yeah, fair <laughs> one. Smacking slightly more disgusting eyes. And yeah, one eye larger than the other and slightly yeah. fishy. <laughs> pretty much there. Yeah. Um, what do you mean? In terms of, like... I don't know, like, what's going on with Southampton these days? Yeah, with Southampton. Um, Lawless waste. Oh, um, sorry. Um, In-game, right. 
I suppose because our car's still in Dover, isn't it? But I suppose we have a gang that can just go get it for us. Yeah, you've left your you left your sweet sweet ride in uh, Dover right now uh, with the lads. Um, it's so fine. Trip are... can just make us another one. <laughs> Uh, so you are basically roughly where's the legend how far is, uh, you're about 30 as far as you you know from the uh, little GPS uh, monitor uh, you're about uh, 40 kilometers um, <laughs> southwest of the Isle of Wight uh, that's where you know you are right now Oh, right. Uh, and your local actually roll education for me. Is that Smith? everyone or just grubs? Uh, if, if anyone who's like putting their heads together to try and like work out where you're going. When well, my gut instinct was going back to Dover. Yeah, so you've always got that. Um, so education. Oh. Oh, Larry's not what you. Uh, and... Doc? Uh, one second. It's, yeah, one of the intelligence ones. Uh, in education, I'm actually pretty good at that. Yeah, I think it's a lot of you guys, a couple of you guys are. Nailed it. Okay, um... Yeah, actually, all three of you guys, um... You know that really there's not too much um, in terms of in like like civilized cities uh, in the southwest, um, which sort of limits your options. That's mostly either lawless wastes or just industrial um, and farming. Uh, so there's not too much in the way of like civilization and cities that way um your closest really tell one... this is only in a year's time <laughs> <laughs> you uh, your closest bet is um portsmouth it got better uh, uh the the sort of um, mega city <laughs> of uh which is sort of amalgamated southampton and portsmouth wait and it's um, called portsmouth it's Port Hampton. South, mate, Southampton would not be happy about that. Like, there was, if, if you go up north, people call it us. like mega, uh, the Southampton. If you go down south, people call it Portsmouth. But it's all just one thing. Well, and no one thought of Southmouth. Southmouth. <laughs> Portsmouthton. South there's, there's a committee as we speak. Oh, Pomp 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 Pompampton. There's. Pompampton. Um... <laughs> What's. Um... <laughs> Because all the people from Portsmouth call it Pompey because they're weird. Oh, yeah. It's What's, um... Oh, fuck, was it when you, um... Sorry, I can't go over that image with that fucking googly eye on top of it. <laughs> what is it you call it when you put out, like, a vote just to the people? I forgot what it was. Referendum. Like a referendum. referendum. There's, there's a local referendum being held um, in, a few, in a month's time to help rename the area, but for right now, there's a lot of dispute. Um, I proposal that we should cease what everything we're doing and go rig that fucking referendum to call it fucking something stupid. <laughs> so there's that. Um, that <laughs> City McCity face. That generally acts as a lot of uh, shipping and um, uh, a seat of naval power. Um, there's not... There is obviously a civilian element to it, but a lot of it... <laughs> Say that, it's sort of, pirates. Yeah, a lot of it supplies um, the uh, Isle of Wight uh, penal colony. So pirates... Uh, a lot of pirates, yes. Mm. Um, I mean, what so I'm much. hearing is There's that we could go and steal the battleship. This one is very... This one is where pirates go for prison. We should probably go back to Nova. This is the Navy. Um, yeah, like, so your your next best bet is the, like, yeah, Dover area, which is the next sort of... Because of right, its... I, I guess we, we, made, we made friends in Dover, and then our fucking bar got fucking shot up, so let's go back. Uh, all in favour of going back to Dover? Say aye. Aye. I kind of want a battleship. <laughs> so maybe we could go to Southmouth. Stop talking over one another. One at a time. 
So, Larry, you were saying what what's going on? Well, oh yeah, shit. Larry, you were there when Wilson phoned you guys, weren't you? Uh, when Wilson phoned you guys to say how uh, the four had been uh, raided by yeah. Lazarus. Yes. And everyone either killed or taken prisoner. Yes. Did we did we go there? Uh, no, you haven't been back. This is whilst you were on. You got that call whilst you were on the boat um, towards uh, the sea base. Mm. So that's only happened like yesterday. I mean, so Wilson's on the run, trying to escape from that. I quite like and you, Wilson. And you don't know what it, what has become of the rest of the guys, uh, the rest of your. Um, gang and uh, uh, friends over at uh, over at the Four Roses. That does sound we quite important. Could have called out to Wilson and tie up, find out what's going on. All right. Um, in Dover, in some fucking pirate bar in Dover. What are you trying to tell him to go there? Yeah. Okay. Um. So uh, you try phoning him a couple times. Uh, initially, you can't get through. It just goes uh, doesn't he doesn't pick up, uh, but eventually he does, and he he sounds uh, kind of out of breath, kind of uh, kind of kind of agitated, almost like a little bit manic. Um, you know that he, he sort of has the sort of jitteriness that sort of comes when someone's been taking too many stimulants. Um, usually in an effort to keep themselves up. And uh, he, he just sort of is, is just saying to you, like, um, oh, oh, fuck. Oh, jeez. Oh. oh, Larry, I'm so glad to hear you, mate. Um, yeah, things are bad. Things are really bad. Um, I'm hiding. I'm in the tunnels. Um, I, I don't know if I've... I think I've lost them, but I'm not sure. I've been down here all night. I have... Uh, I've been I've been staying away. They haven't found me. They haven't found me. But I oh mate, it's not good. You got it's got to get back here quick. Okay. Um. What tunnels where? Um. You know he's probably referring to the old abandoned areas of the London tube system. Right. Can I ask him for like a more specific location or where we can tie up? Um. He uh, he gives you a general area, um, um, but he he's not a hundred percent sure of the exact location because of he's been so quick just trying to escape. He's not super far from uh, where he where the four roses was, um, but he's just been trying to get himself as lost as possible in an in an effort to escape um, the Lazarus people chasing him. Uh, and that's all he knows, really. Uh, love it. So, I mean, I'm, I'm up for going back to find Wilson. Mm-hmm. Wilson, Wilson. Is everybody on the Yeah, that sounds more important yeah. than my idea of going and stealing a big boat. I mean, we're definitely putting a pin in that idea, <laughs> but yeah. We're gonna steal a big boat. <laughs> I mean, you've already got a pretty big boat. Right, we are keep bigger. We, all we are keeping this boat. Just in case you were in it, you had any doubts. <laughs> okay. Like, um, we're not giving up our fucking boat. Or we're sinking it in a dramatic fashion, one or the other. Yeah, we're either keeping it or blowing it up, one of the two. Yeah, yeah. You're only Just real check. up. I like that those are our only two options as a group. <laughs> um, so what you guys... Uh, so yeah, so you're making... Um, you sort of set a heading for uh, getting back to Dover. Um, you now have... Now that things have sort of calmed down a little bit, you've just got 20 or so um, uh, Lazarus staff uh, milling about on the deck of the ship. Uh, and they're getting a little bit... Uh, antsy, a little bit stressed, you can tell. Um, uh, and they're just getting a little bit more shifty, uh, a little bit more wary of you. Uh, are you doing anything to deal with them or alleviate their fears or anything like that? 
Mm. Nah, kill them all. Yeah. Well, yeah, that sounds pretty reasonable. Have we, have we, in, sorry, have we interrogated? Uh, not yet. You're more than welcome to. Do that while we're all the way back to the... Yeah, okay. Find out what's going on with this big old face bubble on the sea. Okay, um, so there's a couple people there. There's um, there's two people in suits. The the majority of people are in the um, sort of utility work uh, uniform, like the jumpsuits that you've seen, like the warehouse workers and the general maintenance people. And there's uh, four um, uh, guys in lab coats that you can see. Um, who are you? Who are you sort of grabbing to interrogate? Mm. I don't know. I feel like I uh, I don't know. I'll just pick someone at random. Okay. Uh, roll the d twenty. So you grab one of the maintenance guys. Come uh, You grab him. You haul him through to the warehouse. Uh, what are you doing with him? Oh, sitting down, trying up and trying to bright light in his face, and then cool grub. Okay. Um, so you shine face. Can you roll me some intimidate? And then we just ask him what the fuck that is all about, that place. Okay. Uh, it doesn't take very much. Um, the guy in front of you, after, a, like, he's seen what you've done to a lot of the other, other people trying to get onto the boat and the guards before that, so he's sufficiently freaked out by you. Um, he he just starts going. Um, I don't really know, mate. I just I I I fix stuff. I occasionally sort of put stuff in the warehouses. I I honestly I didn't do anything. I promise. I look at Grub and like wonder what we should do. I'm considering just shooting this guy in the head. Could we recruit them? Hmm. Into our little gang. Yeah. I, I don't know what they do, but <laughs> they yeah, might be handy. They do, but we always go for it. Okay, so, I mean. so I'm gonna tell this guy that he now works for the Brazen Boards and he fixes shit and he moves shit for us. He just does not. He's like, uh, yeah, 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 sure, whatever you want, mate. What do you want me to do? And then we're, I'm going to tell him to go outside and grab someone else. Okay. Um, so yeah, that guy's. Just I feel like Barry leans in with his with his with his cigar per se picture in chat and does his gives him the big eye and be like, "You work for me now. <laughs> get out there and get somebody else." Um. He. Um. Uh, 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 who do who do who do you want? <laughs> What do you want from us? What do you want to know? I want to find out what the fuck that place was. Mm -hmm. Get me someone in a suit. In a fucking suit. <laughs> Just brings Mr. back Smith in Mr. Smith. feels very <laughs> conscious. Uh oh, hang on. What's going on here? <laughs> okay, um, he heads out and he, um, he sort of, um, he doesn't like grab him himself, but he sort of says he, he motions to one of the um, uh, guys in lab coats, uh, an older man, balding, uh, quite portly, and he um, he says, uh, "Him, uh, I think I've seen him ordering people about. I think he he, he seems like a big wig. I think." Uh, are you? And he's like, oh, he, he's not very sure about. Like, he says, like, uh, all right, mate. 
Come on. Right. I'm just going to I'm just going to walk like in the hesitation I'll just walk out with a gun like pointing at this guy as I'm walking towards him. Mhm. <laughs> like intimidating him to fucking hurry up and grab this guy and move him. Okay, roll roll intimidate. Um, so this guy goes like, well, uh, no, un unhand me. I am not coming with you. Let uh, let me go. You oh, you you pay for this. Duck, Duck, Duck Grumps has a proposal. Yeah. Get away. Get other posh bond. Then shoot this one in head in front of other one. Then maybe he play better ball. Yes. I was literally just thinking of just turning around to shoot someone. No, I don't like this one. Yeah. This this one has bad attitude. We shoot him, but we use him to shoot in front of other one. Are we doing this in front of all the other prisoners? Yeah. yeah. So oh, they're no. just sort of like milling about on deck. Yeah. Um, all right, like this, Dog Rob is just going to grab Dog Rob is just going to grab him, or put his, like, put, put his hand on his shoulder to hold him still, and then use his power fist and just sort of crush his skull from behind with a, with a great deal of nonchalance. What the what the guy in the lab coat? The one who just refused to work with us, yeah. No. Well, he said it. Um... Oh, you fucking idiot! <laughs> You're a uh... fucking moron. <laughs> so he, you, yeah, you grab him. Um, he's oh! he's not terribly athletic, um, and so he's not able to really resist you. So you just sort of grab him. You take your. your... Wait, wait, so he put, put my hand in the back of his head, and then Larry clearly gets very upset, and Doc Grubbs is very confused. That fucking moron was going to speak. And now Larry and Grubbs are going to have a row in front of all our prisoners. Uh huh. Not dead yet. While covered in brains. Is he dead? Wait. Okay, Ed. Is he dead I yet? I, I, if Doc Gr if you say Doc Grubbs stopped, I'll say stop. Doc, Gr Doc Grubbs got like one hand on shoulder, other hand poised on back of head, and then realised Larry was getting up uptight and, didn't, and didn't, couldn't understand why, and then stopped. So he's, <laughs> he's got his like power fist, open handed, rested on the back of this guy's like skull. Right, and then I'm gonna shout to Grub, I'm gonna make this cut talk, and then I'm gonna turn around with my pistol and just shoot one of the other maintenance workers in the head. <laughs> Okay. Can Doc Grubbs has had a little bit of pressure to his head, just enough so he knows that there could be a lot more. Alright, Doc Grubbs roll Intimidate with a plus one. Uh, plus one, yeah? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Um... And I'm going to turn, like, turn back to this guy and be like, now you're going to come with us? His eyes are bulging wide and he, he's like straining and he's like, and he's like, he's like, fine, yes, let go of me. Lovely. Follow me. You take him into our Mm-hmm. Alright, uh, Doug Grubbs will reluctantly let go of him. Uh, okay, so you trot him through to your little, um, little torture den that you've made in, in the whole of the with, with, I'm assuming they're still tied up in, like, w weird, the weirdly hogtied. <laughs> <laughs> like weirdly sexual hogtying. Yeah. yeah. Um, which freaks him out, you can tell, as he comes in, and, uh, uh, and, and you just sort of plop him down, and he he's just sort of staring back at you. I'm just gonna ask him to talk. And tell us everything he knows. About what? About that floating contraption. Hmm. Well, <sighs> fine. It's. It's it's very simple. I mean, it, it, it's not simple. It's incredibly complicated, and but I'm sure you would never understand. In simple, 
In simple terms, we have been helping, we have been in the employ of Lazarus with an aim to create genetic modifications. Uh, we're still, we were still in the planning phase, uh, the animal testing phases, uh, but we managed to diversify it and refine it into several different species. Um, you can see the, the, uh, ranging from fish to reptiles and even many mammals. We were actually surprisingly successful. Um, the, the anger, not so much. Still working on that, but I mean, when you're breeding instruments of war, I mean, you need a little bit of action. Um, so, I, I mean, that's all I did. I mean, I, I didn't hurt anyone. I just did my job. Sorry. If you have any any problems with that, take it up with Lazarus. Can I ask this guy what Lazarus is? Aim to achieve with the GM. Um, they're, they're a military contractor. They want to create weapons. Whether that shoots, burns, blows up, or if it bites you, if it's they don't care as long as it does the job. Uh, I think I think down the line, they're definitely thinking of uh, um, making human test subjects. I'm sure. Uh, never satisfied they are. Why is he talking like Yoda? Never satisfied they are. Never satisfied they are. Uh, he's a little bit flustered. Well, uh, hmm. Dog Rubs has questions regarding the fucking occult bullshit language a um uh he he uh you ask him about that and he goes um well i have no idea what you're saying what are you talking about um uh roll me human perception wasn't a trip don't worry um you can tell he's a your you think he knows a little bit more than he's like he is lying yeah you 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 believe so i'm gonna just lightly slap him across the face and ask him again robo hand or human hand human hand for now nice. very generous i mean you are still like Nearly eight foot tall. I was going to say, it'd still be, you know, like being still slapped be. by a fucking no, solid no, number of years. But oh, like a bear. <laughs> um, like being slapped by a bear. Okay, yeah. It, um, Isn't that what fucked up Leonardo DiCaprio in fucking The Rebel? <laughs> <laughs> being slapped by a bear. Hopefully, not, I mean, not as badly slapped. <laughs> I mean, that's among other things. Um, uh, he. He, um, you split his lip, and he's, um, he, uh, he, he's uh, quite dazed, just sort of looking back at you, and he's, uh, and he's. I ask again. I don't. It, it's complicated. I. It, it's not re. I. I, I have nothing to do with it. I just slap again. <laughs> Fine, fine, stop! And he, um, uh, uh, when you get high enough in within Lazarus, or by the sounds of it, any of these mega corporations, you you get let into some very unconventional circles. And, uh, I mean, there's been a vacuum of uh, faith, um, as a lot of people know. Normal religions aren't what they used to be. A lot of people 
putting their faith in technology. Blank face to state that there is no God. I mean, I mean, you and these Lazarus folk might have something to talk about then. Um, they seem to be under under the impression that uh, that they can somehow cr- make themselves more so, more than man, through the through ritual, through sacrifice. How much of it is? magic and how much of it is just sort of parlor tricks i i don't know i was i've just been inducted in once or twice i've just only had to attend some of these uh, push him for a translation sorry we're pushing for some kind of translation of the written i uh this is um well, you, you need the proper you need the proper chip to understand, and it's it's like any other language chip. It's it's completely indecipherable. It's in, from what I hear, it's in, in, incredibly difficult to crack. But you need the uh, the proper language chip installed, and uh, and you'd be able to understand. Hmm. Starbrothers is going to shrug and then slap him again and then walk away. Uh, he goes, five, oh. he, he's just like, uh, since you've tied him up, he, he can't like reach, but he'll say like, if I give you it, if you give, if I give you mine, will you leave me alone? Mm. Will you let me free? If you give me chip, I leave you all alone. He says, "Fine." And uh, can he, we just uh, let him be free to work for us? He uh, motions um, to uh, the base of his uh, the base of his skull, like in in, in his neck. And, All right, uh, Rob's is going to very delicately remove his chip. Uh, a power fist. <laughs> Fucking surgeon, bro. Also, to be fair, if he's somebody who's high enough to be getting a chip in this, he's probably high enough to have one of those. Distress teams or whatever. He, it, it, it's like putting in an SD card. It's basically just like a, a very like not elaborate, but just like a very well disguised and like. Yeah, anyone, anyone can have. Yeah, you just you and people pop them in and out like, like whatever they're doing. Um, you can add a, a cult language chip. Doc Robbins is going to immediately turn to Mister Smith and offer it right now and offer it to him. Some kind of SD card. STD card. Uh huh. <laughs> what do you want me to do with it? So Grubs is just gonna smile, then smile like quietly smile and twizzle his finger and then like motion that she, did she turn around. Uh okay. Well, what are you doing about that, Grubsy? If I wake up with an extra arm, we're gonna have words. Very, very clever, and then immediately like grab his head to hold him still with his cyber arm, cyber hand. Uh, uh, uh. Shut the chip in the back of his head. Oh, harder. <laughs> and then hand in hand, and then immediately hand him the sheet of paper. Uh, okay. With my new Grumps augmented brain power, am I able to read it? What piece of paper was this? The, the fucking the one the, that we. Um, we had fucking sheaves of shit. Taken the serial killer off. thing. I called? thought that was left um, at the Four Roses with Wilson. That does sound more like us, yeah. I'm pretty sure. Mrs. I'm pretty sure Mr. Smith has an eidetic memory. Someone has an eidetic memory. I certainly don't. Shade? No, not shade. Let's check. Somebody had a fucking. Somebody had a good memory. I don't remember that. I mean, ninety percent of my memory is taken up by you know uh, things. Yes, we know. Yes. Uh, I mean, I can take photos with my eye, but I don't think I've done that. All uh, right. Um, Wait, didn't we scan it into a computer? Think... You did. Um, I think that's what you're working on. Right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, because we left it with Wilson to try and decipher. Yeah. It. Yeah, it was definitely left with Wilson. He's right. Yeah. All right. Can we fucking email Wilson for a copy? <laughs> 
We can do this. We have the knowledge. <laughs> He uh, okay, okay, but I don't manage my own emails. 5H4D3! Don't, don't tell me that Wilson didn't have, like, his phone backed up on his phone or something. He's a fucking hacker, like... He's not that useful, like... In fact, he hasn't proven any way useless he has yet. He's, he's, pretty, he's pretty handy, dude. I was gonna say, he's not crit. I mean, he didn't protect four roses, so, you know... Yeah, from, an, know. from a small army. Yeah, what a kid. You didn't go all home alone on him. Case point, it was only a small one. Yeah, come on. Grubs would have stood in their way. I Grubs would have thrown with... himself up in a dramatic fashion and killed most of them. <laughs> Shane Smith would be on a bus somewhere. <laughs> oh, without a doubt, 100%. <laughs> Like, literally, four roses getting raided, we're at a bus stop the other side of the road. Oh, I wonder what's going on over there. So, do we successfully get a copy of... Um, no. Uh, uh, yeah, so you managed to get through to uh, Wilson. He's um, he's uh, a little bit... Uh, uh, he's, again, still really quite tense. He's like... He's... He's like, are you, are you, he's still not on the way. Like, uh, he, And you explain to him about everything. He says... Like, uh, fine, I, I'll send over, over what I've got, and uh, you send. Uh, he sends you back. Um, uh, yeah, the um, version. Uh, the um, yeah, the scanned copies of the letters and all the sort of paperwork that you found. Yeah. I just realised they were different. Who are? Wait, are they different? No, they're not different. I mean, they were different, but they were basically the same thing. Uh, so one is just a slightly more corrupt version of the other. Uh, so you. Anyway. Uh, what do we got? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Um, I'm just going. I'm just editing this so you guys can see it. Uh, any changes? Uh. So, that is the one. Yeah. So, Ooh. Miss Mr. Smith, oh, that's oh. the original one that you yeah. recovered from the dirty hobo named Ted. Yep. Um, the letters from Tidworth's desk. Um, there was lots of those. Mm -hmm. Um, mostly they're in a similar vein. They're like correspondence. They're sort of dancing around, even with a uh, an encoded sort of um letters they are still dancing around the topics that they're talking about they're talking it's about not um, directly saying they're not saying oh that that time we we killed those four people at this specific date and time uh, with these various witnesses present i don't know how um, you write letters but laugh. that's how i write them but okay <laughs> um um <laughs> but it's mostly stuff in a similar vein it's talking yeah. about um meetings and inviting people or people sending updates about um, uh, sending uh, merchandise and um, uh, uh, they don't talk about sacrifices they talk about uh, subjects uh, okay. rather than uh, like yeah. like ritualistically they seem to talk to them or almost in a manner yeah. that they're talking about like experiments clinical yeah yeah not yeah there's still a little there's a little pageantry to like yeah, the guys yeah. are definitely fucked in the head but they seem to be with some sort of purpose to it gotcha. um but there you go um if you wanted to know like more specific things then just ask mm -hmm. What's um, a yeah, new just, moon? Um, you seem to... They seem to... Um, a lot of their meetings are based on, like, it seems to be uh, phases of the moon. So it's like full moon, new moon, stuff like that. Yeah. Um, you don't know if that has any... people can see this bit, yeah. I think I showed it to everyone. Okay, cool. No, I'm just, I'm just checking if I had to read it to people or something, but yeah. Oh, no. I assumed he would share it. I mean, yes. <laughs> Being presumptuous. 
Um, yeah, there you go. So you, uh, yeah, you now have the ability to is, read. Yeah. I have cool. the ability to read. Wait, does that mean we could write in this? Da, 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 da. Oh yeah, have I gained the ability to write in this as well? I mean, I would assume that. There's yeah, no, some... you know the language. It's like any other language chip. So if you like, if you wanted to write in any other uh, chip, in you'd be able to. Okay, you, cool, it basically cool. just bestows on you an understanding of it, so you can use that however you want. Written and verbal, although this doesn't have a verbal component. Um, but Does yeah, that mean we can so we I now have the language <laughs> weird glyphs. There you go. So in theory, we could just set up like a fake meeting and just lure them all there and then destroy them all. Assuming we could somehow find a way to get our notes circulated, yes. Uh huh. I'm sure they've just got like an internal email or something. Uh, yeah, just, just send DL it to all of them. All. Yeah. <laughs> just email every yeah, just Lazarus like WhatsApp group. Yeah, WhatsApp group. Yo, 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 what up? <laughs> uh, cool. Um, so yeah, you guys. Uh, uh, so yeah, you guys are just making your way on onwards uh, to Dover then, I suppose. Um, so over the next few hours, you're sort of like poring over those letters and sort of reading them through and then relating that to the rest of the guys. Um, the the remains of the uh, uh, Project Alder crew is uh, just sort of huddled on the deck uh, with Larry and Trip um, and Poor the rest bastard. of you sort of like glowering at them, keeping them sort of in check. Uh, any troublemakers getting sort of taken down and then hogtied <laughs> in <an> increasingly <laughs> creepily sexual position. Increasingly fetishistic, too. Yep. Yep, yeah. I stand by it. Um, I'm just making like a living uh, art exhibit downstairs. It's beautiful, really. <laughs> uh, lovely. Sorry, I'm just uh, reading through something, trying to remember. We're trying to find a name of our friendly mate in Dover. Um, Bob. I was as well, and I remembered. It was Dion. Um, no, 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 Dion was... was... Oh, it was McCready. No, 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 it wasn't. What was the name? It was McCready. No. It wasn't McCready. It might have been Creedy. It's Creedy. It might have just been Creedy. Uh. Hmm. Um, I'm being dumb. Oh, where did I? I know I wrote it down. Fuck me. Uh, oh, damn it. No, I. That guy. That guy. Uh, he had a picture of him. I did. I thought. And. Uh, Alright, no, I did have him. Thought I did. Let me just double check. If not, don't worry. No, we didn't right now. I swear he's Creedy or McCready. One of the two. Um, but yeah, uh, I have him on here. No. No, mind. Uh, it was Creedy. They're saying. Um, uh, so yeah, as you're making your way uh, back to Dover, um, it takes you a few hours, but you're getting closer. Um, I will say just because you're fairly intelligent people, you'd be able to realize that um, you would know that distress signals would have been sent from uh, Project Alder. You knew that some of the security personnel did see you and you did have a firefight with them. So you don't know how much of your descriptions or whatever may have been relayed back to oh, Lazarus HQ yeah. or whether they know where or what, where or when you might be landing. Um, 
you would also probably be safe in assuming that by now um, the warehouse that you <laughs> fucking cleared out is has probably been discovered uh, uh, along with the dead guards by changing shift. Um, okay. So those are things just to consider. Yeah, it sounds like we should go straight back there. That's all I'm hearing. I'm not saying. saying don't go back to Dover. I'm just saying, like, think about where you make land. Maybe not at the port. Once we get in range, can we radio Dion? Yeah, yeah. Okay, um, yeah, you managed to get through to him. He's just sort of been hanging out and, uh, yeah, wondering when he'd hear from you guys again. Right, uh, yeah, mate, um, yeah, how are you guys doing? Do you manage to pull off whatever you guys were doing? Great success. Virtually no problem whatsoever. Nice. All right. Um, I mean, we're still we're still looking after all all your gear. So, uh, I've been keeping the lads off it, but I mean, I mean, it's just work for me, mate. So if you guys can come pick okay, it, back soon. Up, that'd be great. We have we have we have, uh, we have proposition for you. Go on. We need safe place to uh, land, not on box. All oh, right, I get you. Um, we're, how how big's your how big's your vessel? Uh, head how big's the question I know. Um, it. I guess I'm like someone lost. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh, both laughing. Sorry. Um. It's sort of mid size. It's probably from uh, front to back. It's probably forty to fifty meters. It's long, but it's not like it's mass like a massive. Uh, probably, at uh, guess, uh, hundred fifty feet. Oh, you're like ah, well. You're not going to really be able to get that super close to shore. Um, it's going to be probably too di- to um, going to be too shallow for it. Um, probably accept the port, but if you're not going there, I'll tell you what. Have you got lots coming with you? Because um, I can uh, I can meet meet you out there. I can come out and pick you guys up. Sounds good. Come to what we uh, we deal. Okay. Um, so you're able to uh, relay GPS. Um, All right. While we're anchoring and, and set up a meet, Grubs is gonna call. I, I mean, like for want of a better word, team meeting. I don't know what else you'd call it. <laughs> G- gang meeting. <laughs> like a conch. <laughs> Not allowed to speak unless you're holding the conch. <laughs> You are not holding the murder conch, you don't get to speak. <laughs> I hold the conch. It's better than a conch, it's just some dude's head. <laughs> hey, who's holding the speaking head? Huh? The speaking head. The speaking head. <laughs> we just make it like fucking Fisheye's eye. He just pops it out and hands it around. <laughs> he can see the whole time. It also takes minutes. So, uh, but yeah. He basically, he's going to outline his proposal essentially to do a deal with the gang whereby we go halves on the ownership of the boat. They you, you, they utilize the boat for smuggling purposes to make profit, and we take a share of profit in return. Occasionally, we might need to use the boat and stuff. What say you? What say who? What say who? No, what say you? All right. Sounds like a pretty good idea. Seems a good idea, because this way we don't have to pay for docking or bloody thing. Exactly, and the boat makes money when we're not using it. Which is always the dream. And does that mean we can just leave all these Lazarus guys with them and they're their problem now? I mean, we can offer them to them. Yeah, the boat comes with slaves, standard deal. (laughs) (laughs) Great, now we're recreating the triangle trade. Well, I mean, we didn't start off as good, guys, so... I mean, no one, no one mentioned anything about race. I'm not saying... It's still slavery. Yeah, but it's not slavery because of the colour of their skin. It's not slavery if they're not black guys. <laughs> Jesus. 
it's only slavery because they work for someone we didn't like. It's very I'm, different. I'm just saying, just because it's it's not racially motivated doesn't make the slavery acceptable. I just have to say that. For the record. But as Mr. Smith, yeah, I'm on board. Yeah. I mean, from Mr. Smith's perspective, slavery is a great idea. It's a really good business proposition. Yeah. It depends who's using it, but yeah, yeah. Because, I mean, so that's, I that's mean, a and, no, it's right, kind of either that or we kill them. I mean, if you really wanted to, like, just secure all your, like, all your guys, like, seats in, like, your front row seat in hell, like, it, it is the way to do it. This is. It just very and efficient. Let's be, let's be completely realistic. We're already on like a fucking one-way ticket to the lowest circle of hell. Mm. There's no way out of this. You may as well just don't fucking hang or go home. Yeah, you guys are all the worst kind of scumbags. Genuinely, we are. We are the lowest fucking common denominator of humanity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can fucking put that in writing and on a t-shirt. We are the lowest common denominator of humanity. On the top of the t-shirt, what would happen to our fucking t-shirt? I don't know. Damn, wouldn't it? Yeah. Okay. Put it in there. Well, we're at this point, I could quite like to go into. Okay. Um. Well, I figure there's not going to be loads left. Um, if you want to just bear with. I can bear with. Hold it, Andy. Hold okay. it. Um. Clench. So we'll put that to the. Cool. So you set up a meet with um. Uh, you set up with Dion, um, so he, you pull in, he directs you to um, uh, stay uh, a mile or two offshore, uh, and uh, he, uh, you haven't made it sort of, sort of again, like 10 miles away from Dover. Uh, he meets you on his little like inflatable boat. He has a couple of boys uh, with him, and uh, as you guys pull up, as he pulls up, they jump out, they secure the ship. And uh, he takes you onto his little uh, inflatable uh, speedboat, and he. Um... Hold on, hold on. We're gonna do business first. We need to do all that deal. deal. Oh right, sorry. Yeah. Um. He goes. Uh, okay. Um. All right. Well, this will. Are you sort of outline the proposal and everything? Yeah. Essentially, what I just described. I can't remember the details. Yeah. And uh, he he goes. Um, oh, I spoke it over with the boss, and. Uh, I think if, if you guys agree to a fifty-fifty uh, split, I think we can come to a good uh, a good deal on uh, future any future endeavors done uh, done using this. So it will really help with uh, yeah. If you want us to move any uh, uh, merchandise, then uh, can we also get? Can we, as a passing comment, this may be less that they can provide essentially, not a safe house per se, but a safe place for us to be in Dover if we need it at some point or another. Hmm. He's like, oh yeah, yeah, no, you guys can swing any time. Cool. Happy days. Um, also, we ask him nicely if he knows where we can get some really big guns. <laughs> <laughs> ah yes, the important yeah. work. All right, yeah, that we can help you with. And uh... yeah, so maybe when we're in the, in the boat on the way to shore, we're just going to ask if we can go. Actually, first we need to probably cash in on the money we've stolen one way or another, or the item slash money. But then also mm -hmm. maybe arrange some guns. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do we know? Larry might know. Can you give us a street deal role to find out? Are there any big corporations that are like known kind of competitors slash nemesis nemesi nemesis nemesi of um, Lazarus? Um, that probably be um, uh, more like Mr. Smith deal. How do you, um, Mr. Smith? Uh, roll me yes. some resources. Yeah. Well, street deal will be helpful, but the resources will be more. Right, old Bob Massachusetts, can you help us out? Massachusetts. Um, yeah, it's yeah really... so um, through your knowledge. Uh... My infinite knowledge. <laughs> um, so you know there's, uh, you know a couple things. So um, Colson Dynamics 
um, the company that you work for. Um, it mainly deals in consumer technology and immune. Um, but you know that they have been a lot of R and D into uh, possibly getting into like military technology um, as well. Um, so they are they are definitely eyeing up Lazarus, and um, their downfall could definitely play to their. Oh uh, yeah, their we favor. definitely we definitely would be interested in that. So. Uh, there's also, there's a few others as well, but that would be your closest bet. Alright, Grubbs puts it to the party that I have idea. We uh, we take hard drives I steal from Project Dollar Lab, uh -huh. and uh, we take them to uh, Bob. Mm -hmm. We sell them to a company uh, with agreement that potentially more information come later off of Documents stolen by Shade. Mm -hmm. uh, we see if we do deal with them to uh, operate this entirely deniable operative to destroy Lazarus. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Let's say, say friends. So, um, so in English, that was sell the hard drives to well, initially for some mm -hmm. like cash. With the kind of comment that they might, we might have more to be able to available later on, thinking stuff that Shade stole, and then, oh, yeah, yeah. then pitch to them that if they fund us, but with all deniability, we will happily play fucking soldiers to kill, like to take yeah. out on my behalf for a fee, obviously, or a share of whatever they want, you know, some kind of rock and yeah, roll. yeah. Um, we want. Yeah, Ed, I suppose from um, what Mr. Smith knows, does he think that's something that uh, Bob would go for? Oh, yeah. Yeah, if you pitch it right. Um, okay, okay. Yeah, you'd probably definitely be up for. I mean, as long I mean, your entire role is corporate terrorism, basically, uh, with like but, but, zero. But, but, like... Aggressive <laughs> negotiation. Aggressive negotiation. <laughs> oh, golly. Aggressive takeovers. Once upon a time, um, we were domestic terrorists. Now we're corporate, corporate management. <laughs> Assets management um, and mergers. But yeah, you do that um, with the idea that you are completely, as far as, like, in official terms, not related to at all, so they can deny and anything. Dynamics have complete deniability. Of course, yeah. yes. So, yeah, yeah he'd, be, he, that is, he'd be all about that, you um, doing yeah, something to screw yeah. over their competitors. I mean, um, if the deal being, if we find anything along the way that we think they might like, we'll uh, sell it back to them. Yeah, um, yeah. You also really know from, we were going to um, do it anyway. Your reading of uh, a lot of the letters um, that was in Tidworth's uh, desk that there's uh, appears to be some sort of um, uh, big sort of solstice um, gathering uh, being organised, uh, which is. Uh, schedule for a few weeks time gentlemen we have the means we have the target we have the opportunity <laughs> and now we're getting paid for doing some shit we were going to do anyway <laughs> and we have motivation <laughs> and reading through some of the letters like where like the who they were going to and um you you see that they were mainly to sort of like lazarus higher ups hmm. I do believe we have the the the, fin the final stages of our fucking crusade against this bullshit company who fucked us over for no good reason. It is. Huzzah! I yeah, I've that. spent most of this session trying to work out why we hate them so much. Yeah, I, I literally, as I said that, I was thinking, how do they fuck us over? Oh wait, they didn't. We just decided we didn't like them. As most I mean... of our fights start. Wait, no, they did. They stole They stole one of the girls from the Four Roses. That was them. They stole one of the girls from the Four Roses. You yeah. stole them back. Stole them back and killed lots of people. I mean, that is our um, fucking MO. Murder. Then you, then you blew up their... Well, you gassed out their warehouse. Then they, yeah. like, blew up your pub. And then you blew up their sea base. Stand by it. So... It's like escalation. So next thing you know, like, they're going to... I don't know, nuke Scotland or something. The thing is, they've already taken out our base. They haven't got anything left. Like at this point, they'd just be like, "Well, I guess we're just going to nuke London because they're there." Oh, shit. <laughs> they've already taken everything we had. 
silly mistake. Um, cool. Um, yeah, so you um, make a landfall. Um, he, he pulls you into he, he pulls you into uh, a secluded cove, uh, very old school smuggler style, and um, he, he takes you up uh, topside and oh, takes you back to town. Colbark hardcore, but no one else would have Colbark. So. I do. Sorry. <laughs> no, I'm seeing it. Sorry. No, I said no one else. He, um, yeah, and then he takes you back to uh, Creedy's, um, uh, Creedy and Co's hangout. Uh, you, uh, you pick up your truck and um, yeah, you can go from there. Uh, in this time, yeah, Mr. Smith, um, yep. I imagine you sort of made oh, some contact. Did he spend a lot of time making phone calls? <laughs> yeah, and having. Um... Five I think very write out some emails, emails for me. Can we can we do the deal on the money for the hard drive so that we can all get some spending money to go fucking ham and buy goodies? <laughs> yeah. All right. Um. Bob basically tells you, okay, okay, this sounds interesting. Mm-hmm. We're not going to discuss it over the phone. Oh God. Meet at the bar tonight. Uh, tonight. Uh, uh, <laughs> that may be a this is like early morning right now. Right. Okay. That may, that may be a problem. How about we meet at your favourite bar this time, Bob? Remember the one where we had those clams? Sure, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I like the clam. Cool, good. Ooh, yeah. Some clams. Can, we ask, can we ask Bob to secure the uh, venue? Uh, yeah, so he um, he says, um, okay. Um, uh, what about um, any mentions about whether clubs... Um, uh, one of his favorite little bars that he likes hanging out at, uh, which is a bar that um, uh, Mr. Smith has met him at once or twice before. Yeah. It's the same bar that he um, met him at the, the first time. Ah, oh, smashing. All right, then. There yeah. we go, then. All right, I guess. Uh, get in our truck and put on our camera and head there. <laughs> yep. Fucking get this rendezvous. Um, cool. So by the time you get home, it's um well, it's getting sort of late on in well, it's getting on in the afternoon uh, now. Um, Dr. Grubbs give her a shot in stairway. Are you guys gonna head straight to the um bar and then meet with Bob? Yeah, Dr. Yeah. Grubbs is gonna inject caffeine straight into Larry's veins. <laughs> well, uh, um, I don't have the energy yeah. caffeine. <laughs> Larry does. I don't have the energy to give Larry the energy. <laughs> so I need to keep him awake. Yeah, no, either, either way, either way. Let's carry I on. do need to go for a poo. <laughs> go to the toilet! <laughs> okay, Larry, go to the toilet. You're not going to miss that much. <laughs> when you arrive right at the pub, Larry's like, guys, give me a minute. <laughs> carry on, Larry's going to go for a poo. Okay, um... Uh, yeah, so you arrive. It's a nice little bar. Uh, oh, what was this? Oh, fuck. What, what do we call this? I forgot. Um, oh, shit. Um, there's, there's that little really creepy bar. Um, oh, fuck. Yeah, shit. I, I, I really oh, can't remember the name. I must have written it down somewhere. I want to say Black Velvet, but I know it isn't. No, it was some... It was like... It was like the Bishop's something or the... Bishop's closet or something like that. Oh, Bishop's shit. Willy. Was it the Bishop's sleeve? It might have been. Yeah, yeah Bishop's Bishop sleeve does sound right, but. Oh, okay. yeah, the Bishop's sleeve. Yeah, Bishop's sleeve, either way, yeah. Uh, so you, you arrive at the Bishop's sleeve. Oh, uh, can you imagine being and... a fucking bar called the Bishop's sleeve? How fucking scummy does that sound? <laughs> it's creepy. It, it sounds like, established... it sounds like flashing pretension. This was like, still creepy. This was like session one or two, but it was very. Uh, Bob, Bob's a creepy dude. Um, Can we have a picture of Bob? Uh, I think I think we. Well, we have a cyber edited one. <laughs> no, we have yes, yeah, cyber edited. I literally just searched Bob, Massachusetts. Bob Massachusetts, took the first dude and added cyber. On it's it. somewhere on the Discord, super it's high up. Literally miles away. It's yeah. way up there. Hang on, hang on, I got this. <laughs> Instantly found the original version. Oh, hang on. Uh... I, have it, I, have I found it. the image, yeah, yeah. 
hang on. Um, how do I? Oh, I pinned it. Oh, there we go. <laughs> there he is, good old Bob. <laughs> there we go, that was it. <laughs> Alright. Bloody hell, that was quick. Well done. Um, if you search Bob, he pops up. Alright. Um, yeah, so... Um, yeah, you arrive at the Bishop's Sleeve. Um, make your way in. It's a small little... Um, small little, not like... It's creepy, but it's not like dirty. Creepy, it's just but homely. Clean and upper class, but still creepy. Well, Mid-level. Mid it's just got a lot of dudes. There's, oh, wait, what, what there's like zero women. One of his lenses is perfectly round, the other one is like oblong. Yes, <laughs> I am a perfect artist as well. Yes, you are. Well, yeah, Simon, he, um... Simon's written right across his head. Yeah. And his, his, uh, he's sat at his uh, normal booth, he's got um, flank, uh, but with his uh, customary two guards um, sort of mm -hmm. stood in front, um, keeping a, a, a gap between him and the riffraff. Um, and yeah, Mr. Smith um, is led through and sits down with Bob. And he's uh, all right. Uh, so I'll I understand. It, yeah, it was, it's nice to see you, Smith. I haven't, I haven't heard you for, from you in a little bit. I was getting a little worried. Yeah, but a bit busy. Went travelling, you know. Oh, what lovely! Oh, lovely. Yeah. You jaunt in the North Sea, old boy. Yeah, a little bit of sailing. It's good fun. Oh, yeah. Anyway, yeah, got a proposition for you. Courtesy of our mutual doctor, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, we've got some information for you right away. Heads up, that something happened. Flog onto you for a bit of a uh, spending money for the crew. Um, other thing is as well, had a bit of bother with Lazarus. Uh, just yeah, just explain the whole plan basically and our current situation and what what has happened with Lazarus. Uh -huh. Try and. Uh, Keep it heavy on the euphemisms so that anybody. I'd like, 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 like to think that he starts off just describing it as like an issue, and then he gets on with beef, and then by the end of it, he's calling it a vendetta. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a bit of an issue. We got a bit of beef, and as it turns out, so our nemesis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She turned uh, into a right Barney. <laughs> basically, a bit of a faff. Bit of a faff. Got grubs. Wants to see yeah. more ground to dust. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Well, you got... Okay. Um, yeah. Yes, I... Yeah, yeah, that's definitely something we'd be interested in. Uh, have you got any of the... Um, well, Mr. Desmond, okay. Grubbs gave him one hard drive to give to him as, like... Yeah, I was going to say, I, if we've got one that I can give him, just as a, hey, here's a first one. Yeah. Got yeah. a couple more right. of these and some other stuff on the way. He uh, hands it off to... Um, uh, one of the guys, um, yeah, one of the uh, guards over there, and he. Sorry. Before, before he comes back for an offer, can I raise a question? Would Mr. Smith have any idea what value there would be on these hard drives? No, um, not necessarily, because it's. I um, barely know what a hard drive is. I mean, because definitely not. Grubs is fucking. The grubs is thinking like an opening price of ten grand a pot. Uh, okay. He, like, he's, he's um. These are corporate secrets. This is a pretty big deal. Yeah. He, 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 he says, I'll have someone look at it. We'll have a couple of drinks. And uh, as he sort of has a little look at it, if the information's good, yep. we'll make an offer for the rest. Sounds good um, to me. So he passes Let's it have off some to, um, clams. He passes it off to um, uh, one of the guards there who uh, takes it back to a back room. Uh, and yeah, you have a, have a couple of drinks. Um, there's karaoke night. Um, so oh. you're enjoying that? Hell yes. Uh, is, is Larry singing Don't Stop Believing? Absolutely. Mr. Smith will only sing Creep. Dr. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Grubbs isn't even uh, singing. Yeah. Dr. Grubbs just walks up and unfolds a little, like a little suitcase that's actually a pair of decks and just like starts DJing <laughs> without even asking him to. Yeah, and as, as Trip is like uh, coming towards the end of a heart-rending rendition of Kiss from a Rose, um, he, uh, the guard comes out from the back and he um, has a little, uh, uh, gives a little tablet to Bob, who scrolls through it. All right. <laughs> 
and uh, he uh, he just starts murmuring to himself like, oh, okay. Fucking hell. All right. Um, all right. Now, Mr. Smith may not understand computers or had roofs. But he understands but business. He understands business. He understands when somebody gets good news or bad news. So... He, he, uh, and you can... Oh, roll human perception, Mr. Smith. Yeah. Um... Mm. Bob is very interested. Excellent. He is very intrigued by this information. Um, the price just went up to 20 grand a pop. <laughs> he, um, uh, so how many he, of these do we have? Uh, that we have five in total. We just gave one to them. So, one, yeah. cool. so he says, uh, um, how, how many more of these do you have, Smith? Four more. And, uh, and there's potentially more where that came from. And yeah, that's, uh, that's just what we have on hand right now. There's more right. on the way. You boys have done good work. Um, hey, how does a hundred grand sound to you? Hundred grand. Marvelous. And he sort of like. All right. Yeah. Seems, <laughs> seems a fair start in price. He says, "Fantastic." And he uh, clicks his fingers and uh, he motions towards the guard who um, retreats into the back office, uh, uh, the back room, and then comes out later with a briefcase and I like to uh, imagine just the hands uh, just Smith. pops it on the <laughs> table. The cash. In a world where literally cash doesn't exist. It does exist. It's just not. Can we ask, can we ask him there is, when there is crime, there will always be cash. It's can like we, cash him, in London. We, Everybody just asks why. Can we, can we ask him for credits instead? Uh, but basically, yeah, they do come in, um, like, basically, un, not like unmarked, but unregistered credit cards, like debit cards, where... In each individual card has an amount of like EB on it. Just a shitloads of iTunes gift cards. It's basically yeah. It's basically yeah. Gift card is a good way of thinking about it. So are we calling it for argument's sake? Are we calling it twenty grand each? Yeah, you can okay. take it however you want. That that sounds that sounds reasonable. I want Actually, it down to. The tech, currently, Andy and Dan are both absent. I'm going to suggest that twenty grand each is probably just a fair cop. Fair yeah, I think that's fair. Yeah. Um, I would say. Um, if Grubsy went in with like yeah ten grand a pop, that's the starting price. Mr. Smith is going to try and convince him that he's a master negotiator, and he haggled him up to a hundred grand for four. I got us twenty-five grand a pop, Grubsy, and you just wanted ten. Well, Grubsy will shake his hand and then this start. Why you're the businessman? Yeah. And start browsing the brochure for big guns. <laughs> yeah, so you um handle the Grubsy hard doesn't give a shit. He's like, I don't care, money. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, Bob, uh, cheers with you, and, uh, bids you adieu. We'll see you- Oh, when we did more about the proposition about taking down Lazarus? Oh, yeah, yeah, blah, 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 blah. Oh, yeah, sorry. Um, there you go, Zam. Okay. We'd be very interested in that. But, Terrific. remember, normal rules can't come back to us. We will- we will give you whatever you need, within reason. Just let us know what you need. Already burned everything I own that has Colson Dynamics printed on it. <laughs> Burn off your fingerprints. <laughs> it's the next um, step. But yeah, basically he says like yeah, in, in the sort of standard arrangement that mm -hmm. yeah, but uh, that he w they will support you, but um, can't um, come back to them. Yeah, it'll in the event it'll we have a bigger them, budget like, kind of. It'll have a you'll have more leeway with this one in terms of like. Asking for resources for it if you need it. I could buy an antimatter gun. Oh dear! <laughs> I have made a mistake. That doesn't sound like something you should have. Yeah. You don't understand? It does sixty ten damage and has a range of one point six kilometers. <laughs> it, 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 I, I would imagine one of those needs to have a neural link, though. Uh, where does it specify whether it needs a neural link? It usually would just say on the weapon. If it doesn't, then it doesn't. Can't see. In, in, I'm only looking at the like weapon. It's just like the weapon stats. It doesn't say anything about. Uh, yeah, and I'll, I'll, I'll search the name of the item. No, um, I'll, I'll so find yeah. out. Bob, uh, you have the 
a fair amount of support from Colson. Um, Excellent. And yeah, there is is Andy back from his poo. I mean, it's probably a grumble. We're talking like a forty-five minute job. <laughs> I was just thinking because yeah, you've uh, yeah, you concluded your business with Bob, mm -hmm. um, and either we can leave it there or we can go on to we can keep going a little bit more. I think at this stage, I'd like to dissolve into bullshit chat and shopping. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs>